Thanks for staying with us. There has been mixed reactions as Catholic Bishop of Uyo Diocese, John Ebebe Aya, over the weekend rejected Governor Ben Ayadi's 25 million donation to the church. The bishop was seen in a viral video rejecting the donation from the governor during a Thanksgiving mass held on Sunday in Calabar. According to the bishop, the governor is my brother. We are both from Cross River North. I want, to, I want to appreciate him and tell him to package whatever he has for me, add to it, and use it to pay the salaries of the workers. Hmm. We would like to hear your thoughts on this. You can join the conversation and call us on 0812705367 or 0913907698. You can also tweet to us using the hashtag your view on TVC and we would like to hear from you. Hey, Auntie Nima. Hi. So my thing was, what is it with the public rejection? Why public rejection what is it in the public, public donation? donation? <laughs> mm. What is it with the public donation? Mm. Why public donation? Mm. 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 You see, mm. governor should not take it and vex. So. Mm. Now, people say now, if somebody use something to talk to you publicly, are you consider it a disgrace? Just look around you very well. Just might be that there's a level of truth, so an element of truth mm. in it. Mm. I'm not be owing salaries to the knowledge of the bishop and declare him 25 million. Money that he ne doesn't necessarily need because you know they don't live flamboyant life, simple life and all of that. <laughs> Why are you talking like that? After 25 million will come, you know, do anything. And he knows that people who honestly, sincerely have need earned that 25 million. I'm looking up to the governor wishing, when will the money come? And most of these governors, the state funds that they are spending. Mm. Presently now in uh, Benue State, uh, what's the other governor's name? It is over, all over the news how bad salary uh, payment has been in that state. Mm. Every time the governor comes out, he's focusing on issues of full and yet, man, and he's not and even addressing not people's salaries. So mm. it's not only one place that body used to stop pay somebody. Mm. The, if you have earned the right to your uh, to your earnings to your uh, wages, you should, you should be, be paid. paid. You should be paid your wages before your sweat dries. Yeah. Staying mm -hmm. of the profit, and then mm, I like that. you you can you have left home, you have abandoned families, you've gone to earn something that you know will change their lives, and you come back home every day making excuse of governor says the state does not have funds, mm. Mm. and then the state same governor wants to go and buy weapons. You know these governors like to be in the limelight, make noise, do things publicly, and. They get away with it. So I, I don't want to see this, even though I almost sang Wicked's tune on this. <laughs> I don't want to see it as an insult to the governor. I mm -hmm. think the governor should appreciate honest people. Around who, him. But that yes, kind of public, see, see, see. Mm -hmm. If you want to tell me the truth, Nima, let me tell to you, know you now be from what is Don't No, I agree. You know don't Google. tell me in public. Don't mm -hmm. make it embarrassing for me. And you can whisper the thing that, but... Don't worry. Why do I don't you, want this. Okay, why do you think that a public donation does not re require a public response mm. for it? Why? I mean, because I you wouldn't do have a public donation good, anyway. Exactly. So mm. if you were given that amount of money and you had met this uh, priest one on one and said, This is what I've put together for you as a birthday gift. And he says, My don't brother, worry. thank you so much. I love this book. You see, you see those people in the congregation, mm -hmm. they work for you, they work in this government. And even the tithes and offer has become smaller because we have not been paying them. They are not feeding. I mm -hmm. see the sadness on their faces. Mm -hmm. Oh God, please, this money, let's add it to salary. Nobody and would have known. Nobody needs to know. All you know is that the governor has not started paying salaries and people will be like, Oh, our wise our governor. Wise governor. Mm -hmm. Nobody will know that there was a wise priest that sat beside him. And but the thing with public everything is that you get public, public. response. Mm. So when public it's wisdom, business. when some people will tell you that they like to do their things in secret, yeah. Yeah. whatever they want to learn, they will learn it in secret. Mm -hmm. Your embarrassment and your teachings and mistakes is not public for mm -hmm. the world to mm -hmm. see. Mm -hmm. So even if it was meant in, in, in to make fun of him mm -hmm. or whatever, I hope that he left with the story, mm -hmm. I mean with the lesson. So you see, um, what he has done, the governor has done, where he's able to put money together to get a huge amount of money to give us a gift. The truth is that that's what our federal government does. Yeah. We have ASO at home, hmm. but we hear that they have put money together to buy cars yeah, yeah, for, for, another country. Country. for another country. So it's just a way of life. But even us, apart from blaming government, in our homes too, we have some people that do that. Yeah. There's fees to be paid, there's this, this, this. Yeah, but we stop over at... 
I don't want to call some business names. <laughs> I stop over and get some, you know, yeah. some stuff. And we do that. And so we need to look at these things better as a people. Because whether we like it or not, at the hems of affairs is a reflection of how we behave every day mm -hmm. in our everyday mm -hmm. lives. So. so I like that point that you raised now. And I'm going to come back to it. I hope I don't forget. But I wanted to say that this governor has come out times without number to say that he's not owing these so-called workers mm. that he did not employ them in the first place. Calm, calm. It's been a back and forth in the state that he's not owing them. They said, uh, uh, the workers are saying that they've been employed since 2018. Mm. And I'm saying, so they were employed. Which offices were they reporting for that long till now? And why were the ministries and departments not closing their doors to such people? So they've reported for so long without your employment, and you now they are not getting paid because you did not employ them. So this Quit is what happens. Who? They will advertise, people will go and apply, they will recruit and say for a period of training, mm. then they will not confirm. It is not new in it's the civil our, service. It's you it's have people who wait endlessly. They now go and constitute one group of people start to go to the labor court, the national industrial court, trying to get themselves acknowledged. They will now still spend money. Mm. You know, so we need to knit things up. It just, it just, it just doesn't fall on the government to say, I didn't employ them. Mm. You go and find out how those people were assured of jobs within yeah. your service. Which offices are they Which reporting? Which offices? Then you make somebody a scapegoat. So yeah. those people know, ah, truly, truly, it was a, fa a farce or, or, a, scam. or mm. a scam. Don't, don't, I didn't employ Ignore you them, yeah. And all of that. Find some, because you see, people need to be engaged. And it is true that in Nigeria now, there are no jobs. People need their jobs. It's not just for governor to say. And you see, and there's a part of this public response that the governor got. Let's assume one person will get shame. The other person has to have shame. Mm. Mm. It's true. <laughs> we know these politicians, they really don't get shame. They don't send nobody. Mm. We have been crying insecurity in the state. Some uh, governors in whose states the insecurity is much are sponsoring weddings in the Bono of yeah. the Bonos. Yes, we yes, had the biggest yes. of weddings. The yes. They are all now online. And you know, I'll be wondering, not be the Bono way. Yes. And they're giving the iPhones that said uh, takeaways. Private jets mm. that landed Bono mm. for one for image going for one wedding. Yes. Hmm. Fear of God cash me some. The dress is the most is expensive, expensive dress in the whole of our history. Are you dear? Yeah. Hmm. It's shaking inside my body that is this even possible? Mm. Even in Lagos, I would say there's no major problem. Uh, Can the type happen without shaking ground? Yeah. But you know, these governors just go on. There are no more businesses. Careless. Some will tell you, eh, they're just, it's my detractors. So, Reverend Father need to clear his own self because he's not a politician. Mm. He, he's the one who people will come to all the time. Father, uh, he's a bishop, he's a Catholic. Father, please, my Peking, in the hospital. I know. I grew up, I went to school with Catholics. I went to school in a Catholic primary school. I lived with them. I did all their rosettes, their uh, bazaar, their harvest, and all of those events growing up till I was a teenager. I used to make seats with the planners of their, of their different harvest and make all of those things, their sacred art mission, all of that. So I know how people go. I know how many widows will say, now, Father, give me school fees yes. for my day. I know that. I know that so yeah. he will constantly be seen. Mm. The real pain of the people, and the real issues, yeah. and be wondering. I hope my conscience and my hand is truly clean mm. before my God. So, mm. what if one person not no shame? Mm. You just other person just have to that's, that's integrity. Mm. But I would say, uh, although Miriam has yeah. answered that partly, it could it also be that um, the rejection was for clout? You know? Who is clouting who? Now? I don't They're know. Clouting, anybody like, can clout anybody. Can anybody. anybody. We know what but happens here because there's a part of the video. I don't. I um, I heard. And a few people confirmed it, where he says, is that how to clap for 25 million? So after he had made the announcement, the clap was not Loved thunderous enough. enough. Oh. And it was like, ah, is that how to clap for 25 million? Oh. So I don't know who so was the really chasing the clout. Mm. But, you know, I just wanted to say, with the governor of um, Cross River State, there's a video that had gone viral one time where he was crying. And so for me, I've always just had a soft spot for him because I just feel that this is a man... That is emotionally in tune with what is going on. I think I need to cry more often so that Mary will have a soft <laughs> spot for me. But she doesn't. She's having for Governor Ben. <laughs> <Ayani>. <laughs> 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 no, I'm just saying. And you know, he gave a story. He talked about that it hurts him to see his people suffer. So, far, yeah. so that does not mean that good people don't make mistakes. Mm -hmm. You know, at least we have someone that seems to know that people deserve, you know, better lives, and he yeah. wants to do better. And for him to even have a, someone like that priest, the bishop, say that to him, they even think that he's someone that can listen. 
because there are some there are some states that they dare not open their mouth to even say to something like that. Mm. But he must show that you know he can even be spoken to or talked to. So let's not just throw him completely away. I just want to, to, us to use this opportunity to remind him, mm. you know, to do what is what right. What his responsibilities and then are. Another point is whether we like it or not, this issue of scamming and happening in the civil service yes. is true. We read recently of a particular state that had done thorough investigation and the numbers that we read out were, you know, mind-blowing. Many people that are ghost workers, people that had their names written twice, um, people who were in charge, who were supposed to know better are the ones running the syndicates, yes. you know? Yes. So he has to do that job of investigating his civil service. And those who are found to be you know, have been scammed or were, be were in the know of mm. being, mm. you know, scamming the government, should be apprehended and should be punished yeah. and made example of. Yeah. And let's create jobs. Yeah. Let's do better. Yeah. Because, you know, this governor has talked about, remember during the COVID, he talked about how he's a scientist mm -hmm. and I've been expecting a lot from, you know, this mm. governor. Let us see that. All right. Thank you so much, Miriam. Let's take a short break. When we come back, we take phone calls and messages. Stay with us. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back. So we're still on this Governor Ben Ayadi's matter, and I'll be inviting our callers to join the conversation on 0812705368 and 0913907694. Also sending your tweets and tubes. All right. So we have somebody on the line. Oye Beju on the line. Good morning, Oye Beju. Oh, yeah, Beju, can you hear me? Listening to the TV. All right, we lost that call. So, yeah, um, I, Miriam mentioned something earlier, which is if you do in silence, you give in silence, you can be rejected in silence. If you give in uh, public, it's okay also to be rejected in public. And that reminded me because it seemed to me that. Um, you, are, you can take responsibility for someone who you feel maybe is not really understanding what people are feeling. Maybe he's not really paying attention to the body language of the people. And you decide, okay, I know that there are needs around this place. Why don't you focus on these needs? With that said, I was thinking that, you know, our president gave out cars recently that they would take the responsibility to say, okay, uh, President Buhari, we understand what's happening in your country. We know that you, the insecurity issues are there, banditry, kidnapping, the hunger. economic crisis, hunger, and your people are complaining. Why don't you take back the scars, sort them out first? Is this something we should be doing to help other people? Miriam. I don't know why you called my name, but I just feel that you are joining issues. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you this question. If... Um, in a family where this man seems to be doing okay for himself and then he gives gifts to the poorer cousin, you know, your poorer cousins, mm. and they receive it. And then the children in the house say, ah, our father gave you this. Do you know we have, he, not, we have not eaten in two days, but they have not eaten in seven days. Oh. We have not done... Do you think the cousins will say, oh, my God, even in our poverty, we dare not collect this. Come and collect it back. Or, okay? let's just leave that one aside. That's a different mm. issue. But I wanted us to talk about... Let me pause you so okay. that I don't lose your thoughts. David yeah, from Akure. Good morning, David. Hello. David, are you there? Good morning. I'm there. Good morning. Hello. I can hear you. Go ahead. Oh, yes, yeah, I'm here with you. Good morning. Good morning. I, I want to give kudos to the, to, to the Catholic uh, bishop. Mm -hmm. And uh, I wish other, other bishops and other pastors will learn from that. But somebody will use, a, uh, use a public fund to make donations to the churches. Mm. And meanwhile, the public are suffering. The yeah. workers are suffering. If it is other churches, they will collect it and uh, pray for Keep him. Quiet. Down, they will prophesy a lot, a lot of uh, prophecy on the, on the, on the, on the this thing, mm. on the governor. In fact, they can even prophesy third time for him or presidency. Mm. But this, this is somebody who is honest. If you look at the life of bishops, they don't have wives, they don't have yeah. time. What are they going to do with money? Their lives are simple. He's not doing. He don't need that money mm. for any reason. So that is why he's paying. 
use this money and take care of the public that elected you. And Thank you, David. Thank you. So uh, you were saying something? I was going to exactly where he just um, talked about, which is, I wanted to say, prophets of old. We remember, as Christians, since we're talking about bishops, in the Bible, we knew how prophets would come and meet an erring king mm. and insult and curse finish the, you know, finish them, curse them, and they leave. And then they'll go and live in the wilderness. And God will feed them with uh, meat from manna mm. from whatever ravens will come and feed them. Food for them. The prophets then, they used to live with the kings and be collecting breakfast, lunch, and dinner mm. and extra money so that they can fly private jets to go and, you know, prophesy in another county. Mm. No. They'll just do the work that God has given and then they'll use their two legs and go back into the wilderness. So that we have people like him today. Mm. It's just one Sadly, in our time today, he's like one out of he, uh, out of very, uh, very few. Mm, I, I don't even know how many. I haven't, uh, seen, I haven't even seen any. You know, there are just really maybe three. There are mm -hmm. two others that we normally hear their names mm -hmm. constantly calling out, you know, bad behavior in our government. Mm -hmm. And so he should be applauded for that. Mm -hmm. He also should be grateful. I always feel that if you're surrounded by people that can still tell you the truth, there's something in you. Mm -hmm. Because there are people today who are surrounded by people who would never tell them the truth. Mm -hmm. They would never know the truth mm -hmm. if they find themselves in a hole. Mm -hmm. But that you have someone mm -hmm. who is able to keep you grounded, remind you of your bad behavior before you make that final mistake that, you know, ends you. You should be grateful for that and remember to just take that. Before I come to um, Nima, let me blessing. take this call. Arasoni from Abuja. Good morning, Arasoni. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Go ahead, you're live. Yeah, I'm a first time caller. So Welcome to the show. Yeah, uh, I just want to contribute to the, the discussion on the line. Okay. Thank God for the life of the bishop. Thank God for his sincerity. The truth is that it's not about the person, it's about personal character that determines how far somebody goes. Mm, for him to reject it, you should have known the extent of what he knows that is passing through in this state. Salaries of workers are not being paid, and the same governor contested, I think, for presidential stuff, for at least, you know, paid almost 100 million, if I'm, if I'm highly correct. Mm. And the same governor is giving somebody another money. Why the people at the state are suffering? The same thing happened across the nation, and you can see how people are crying, people are grumbling, but the politicians will never be the police. But I pray that God will give us the grace by 2023 to determine better where we are going. Thank you so much. Yeah, before I come to Nima, if you were the governor in the first place and you donated that amount of money and the clap was very few, you know, like you were expecting when you drop that kind of whim, you're expecting that people, yeah, 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 yeah. All of a sudden, everybody was just saying, mm. How would you have reacted? What would you have felt? Okay, so um, when you do donations like this, you be in humility. Mm. Mm. In fact, you shouldn't even wait for clap, except you don't know what you're doing. You're donating at a religious ground, the church. Donate for God and go. But because it was a statement, that's why the bishop stood out for me. You remember that is a Reverend Father too? The one that said somebody was stingy. Ah. My sister. Why are you was really? <coughs> so, yes. You don't want to call you. That one that says somebody was stingy. Because it's not. You can cost the person. Mm. <laughs> so, for us to see people like this who know the right thing, the club was a caution. He missed it by referring to the money he and was saying donating. that money deserved a thunderous clap and he needed to be put in his place. Mm. Who better to do it than the than man the of priest. God? Present. Mm. Okay, let's take this call from uh, David. David from Calabar. Good morning. Good morning, Ma. Good morning. Hello. We can hear you. You're live. Good morning. Good morning. Um, I want to talk about the topic I'm seeing on TV today. Okay. Um, I'm very surprised that TVC is transmitting this kind of message. I don't understand. Go on, please. Go on. Okay, so yeah, now um, I wanted to also talk about um, the responsibility of our prophets, like uh, Miriam mentioned, that in the days of old, their job was to call back an erring 
a leader, whether a governor or president, mm -hmm. a king, and you know, remind them of what they are there to do. Now, what, what, what do we expect from our leaders, our prophets right now, our pastors, our imams? How do we begin to hold them responsible and reminding them of the jobs that they are supposed to do? Because this is election period. Before you know now, they'll be hobnobbing. They will come for 10. You'll be seeing churches. They're having, hosting this governor today, hosting this politician today. They are coming for this worship, Thanksgiving, and all that. And it's likely that things will be flying under the carpet, under the tables. How do we remind them that they have a responsibility to speak truth to power? Who's ready to go? Okay, so it is, it is um, theirs, and not even just anybody. Because before this, politicians came. Before this kind of governors that we run came, we had a different kind of governors. The places of influence were the places of God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's painful to see how it's been so mixed up and messed up that you can't even tell the difference anymore. Where you're going to somebody and he's telling you, you know, that's the order of the day. Or where religious leaders are now powerful enough to predict who we win based on their sentiment and biases and their association Hmm. And, you know, somebody will say, you, you cannot win an election. You, you, you know, I don't speak that's to my not people. their call. Their call is to give people hope that of, of, of a better life, of a salvation, not monetarily, necessarily monetary, you know, and do better to call and check hmm. the people in power. So we need that uh, distinction clear. Hmm. And I hope that this sets a tune that will be replicated over and over subsequently from religious leaders. Even if there are also people that are members of your congregation, they can come in and worship. Mm. Let that office not determine how you then receive your message from God. Mm. That's amazing. Yeah. Okay. That's all we, we can take on this topic. <laughs> when we come back, we move on to the next. Stay with us. Stay tuned. Your View will be right back. 